everyone it's Amy and I am just here to do um, Alexis's draw 10 and um, she had made up a list of draw 10 Alexis is the daughter of Melinda from scrapbooking in craft and I'll spell that out in the description but so I just pulled out some different items that I may be able to use in the 10 steps and I'm just going to play along Alexis is eight and a half years old, and I thought she just had a wonderful um, list of 10 things. So I'm going to hook the camera up and be right back. So number one is add three paints. So I have my Dilutions paints in Vibrant Turquoise, Fresh Lime, and Lemon Zest. So I'm going to add my three paints and just get them on the page. I was just getting all set up and my daughter called. She calls a lot of times on the way to work because she has an hour drive. So I did get a few things ready. I made up my um, quote and cut out a few things because cutting is not something that everybody wants to sit around and watch anyway. So I thought I'd just get a little bit prepared while I was talking to her. Okay, so I've got my three colors, and I'm just going to use sponges to just, actually, I think I'll just take it right out of the lids. Just get some color on the page. And I just, oh, I just love the Delusions paints. Then I was watching Nina's channel, Nina Rabina, she was doing um, a comparison of acrylic paints to the dilutions, which are also an acrylic paint, I think. But, um, and she said to me that they have new colors. I didn't know they had new colors. Thanks, Nina. Now I'm going to have to go out and check that out. Because I just love these. I think, I mean, this just goes on just so smooth. And I'm just going to randomly put them on here in no specific order, just whatever seems to look good at the time. But they do really, they just blend so well and they go on just like, just like butter. I mean, they're just so smooth and creamy. But a, a lot of paints can be creamy, but yet they don't apply this way. And these apply great. The only thing is, I do think, I do think that they, um, when you use Mod Podge with them, not sure if I'm correct or not, but I think when you use Mod Podge with them, they do, um, move. The color moves, I think. But a lot of times, especially with the mixed media, that's, um, it's a good thing anyways. It kind of just blends everything together that way. Alrighty, a little bit more turquoise on here. Turquoise is a little dark to be using with the yellow and the green but it does give some really nice contrast. I've not used these three colors together before. Yeah. I'll stick my hand right in the paint. Alrighty. I just think that I want to Spread things around here a little bit. That was the yellow. And that was way too much. A little bit of the green. And you just need with these paints just the smallest amount. You don't hardly need anything. And I do apologize if I keep getting quiet because 
I really, I kind of thought out a little bit like, well, I knew what I wanted my quote to be. And I pulled some things out to go with it. But I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. Just playing. Okay, so... I am going to... I'm going to spread across this blue. I'm, I'm not happy with how dark that turquoise is. It's just too dark for me. So I'm just going to lighten it up a bit with the yellow. And my lovely tablecloth here. Probably about time I need to get a new one, but still working. So, I love plastic tablecloths. And, um... Because I use them as paint palettes. And the thing is, is that they're so reasonable in price that... I just use them, and they last a long time. If you don't buy the ones from the Dollar Tree, if you buy, like, a plastic tablecloth from Walmart, and actually, I get them at, like, garage sales and everything. Um, I don't really buy them new, but they just last a really long time. They don't look so nice, but that's okay with me. So, and I love when I see people, like, using their drop papers and stuff for... ATCs and all different types of flowers or whatever. Um, the only problem is is that because I'm always pulling things out and putting them back and pulling things out and putting them back, um, the drop paper gets like it gets so bent up and everything that it it doesn't work for me because I don't work at my desk. I almost always work at my kitchen table, or dining room table, whatever. Um, because then when Papa comes over, he likes to see, like, what I'm doing. And, and obviously, I always have more room at the dining room table anyways. Okay, this, has n this is nothing like what I thought I was going to do. I thought I was just going to, like, blend the three colors together and have a blended background. But it didn't look good. So, you know, you just keep going until you say, oh, I like that. And actually, I'm getting to the point now where... I'm starting to like it. I thought I wanted solid color blended backgrounds, and I'm kind of out of shot here, aren't I? But yeah, I think a little bit more yellow. Right down in here. Just kind of blending away that solid line that was there with the turquoise. There, just kind of a nice mixed in background. And because the turquoise just stands out so much, if you just cover it just a little bit, it blends really nicely. There we go. That's going to be my background. Okay, so those are my three colors of paint. My next step is add two mixed media elements. And so I pulled out a few things. Not sure exactly what I want to put on there. But I do have, well, I have this little love um, foam thing. Doesn't even match. I pulled out some flowers and butterflies that I made out of sequins and seed beads. And these I saw on Sonia Steptoe's channel a long time ago when I made these. And um, so if you want to see how to make them, go to Sonia's channel. I really like this green butterfly. I think he's going to go on there. And I like this light colored flower. So it's going to go on there. And I think I'm going to turn my page. I think I want, mm, yeah, I think I want my page this way. And I've got fuzzies on it from my foam stamps or 
you know, from these. I buy the cheapies and sometimes they start fuzzing up. Okay, I'm going to quick dry this and then I'm going to come back and we'll put some of these elements on. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to put the butterfly up here in the corner and I'm going to put this little flower down here in the center and I'm going to kind of go out of order though. I, I've chosen them and I've decided where they're going to go. But there's a few other things that I wanted to do. It says to add book tech shapes and use a rubber stamp. That's three and four. So I'm going to use the rubber stamp first because I want to put the, I want to put the, what do you call it? The, the script stamp in the background. So I'm going to put those on before I put my, but I'm going to decide things all in the order. Oh, and then adding the book tech shapes. I cut out two branches and they are going here and here. So I have them all here in order. I'm just not going to glue them down in order. So let's just get a little bit of, I don't know if I want to stamp off with this or not. You just have to love the script background. This is probably one of the best investments I ever made, was the text background. I really, really love it. It just gives that subtle look. There we go. Okay. And then add your book text shapes. And your two pieces of mixed media, which is not those ones, the butterfly. Oops. Now I've lost my, there it is, the butterfly and the flower. Okay. And then I've used the rubber stamp. Add collage elements. So I'm going to, I forgot my glue, glue these down. So I'm going to quick grab my glue and I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed my Eileen's Tacky Glue. And I'm going to glue down my mixed media. Put that one right in the middle of the page. And I do have a border at the very end. You have to add a border. So I'm going to add that, I think, on this side and try and keep things away from there. Put this butterfly up here. Okay. That's our two mixed media. Add the books te book text shape. So I have my water glue here. And this is just um, one part water to two part Elmer's glue. And you can use it just like Mod Podge. I actually, um, there's a lot of times I like my water glue better than I like the Mod Podge. And maybe it's just because I've used it so long. I mean, I've used this since I was a little girl. Mod Podge was expensive. And we just didn't have that at our house. So we always had glue. So there's that one. And then we'll get this one on up here. The only thing that this doesn't have that Mod Podge does is the... Um, high gloss to it but then again you know a lot of people don't even like the gloss Mod Podge they like to use the Mod Podge matte so if you don't have the money to go out and buy, buy Mod Podge go to Walmart and buy the kids school glue especially around the time that um, school's getting in session and they have it for like 25 cents for a bottle of it and just use that for your Mod Podge okay let's see our next stamp is add collage elements so I did 
grab a bunch of collage elements that I have here and um, I'm just going to I have a bunch of little circles that were cut out with little flowers on them and then I have these double-sided round stickies so <laughs> it's taking the paint and the glue off my fingers Hopefully I can get these lined up halfway decent. Yeah, I'm going to put those on there. And then I am going to put these here. So I'm going to put four of these on. Two on each side of that center flower. And they're going to be, they're going to help me have a little flower garden. If I can get these on. Tell you this sticky stuff really is sticky. I get this at my recycle store, and there's some kind of a cut off leftover from like factories that they don't throw them away, they give them to this recycle store, and she sells them and uses the money um, to help children craft. And so it's kind of a win win situation. The factories aren't sticking these items in there in the dump and people are getting really cool things to craft with that are I always like things to craft with that are not just necessarily you know the same as all the rest I like different things and I love to recycle I think it is just such a a good thing for us to do there we go see those are not Oh, and you didn't even see me put them on there. Sorry. But they're not all just even. I've had a really hard time teaching myself to not make everything even. Um, because I'm usually, everything is just like perfect. Or, you know, I try to make it like exactly a straight line. But you need the, you need the difference in there. It gives it so much more interest. I've also got this eye that I drew. And I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to put this. right up in that corner. Yep, that looks good to me. I've had this sitting around in my art room for a long time. Never had a project for it. I really liked it when I did it. I'm a little odd. And um, this just seemed to be the perfect project because I had already chosen what I wanted to put on here as my quote, what I wanted to say, and I had a cut out eye of a magazine and I remembered that I had that. I've got this feather. I think I'm going to round this off a little bit on this end. Oops. Actually, maybe I'll just like round it off. I'll turn. go like that. Put it up there like it's a cloud. That's kind of like a moon. Put that one right in there. Oops, I didn't get underneath of it here. There we go. The other thing I like about the water glue is it is movable a little bit, and I, I like that. It's not quite as sticky. And it's not as thick as the Mod Podge, so it, I think it dries quicker. Not sure, never tested it, but to me it seems like it dries quicker. Okay, I've added some collage elements. Now I need to add circles, which actually... These were my circles. So these are part of my collage elements are these little birds. And I'm going to pop those up on the little, sorry I'm out of frame. I'm going to put the dots on the back of the birds too. Where's my 
my circles. Just a minute, Ollie. Ollie's home and Ollie is feeling wonderful. We're all so happy. He made it through, although just yesterday he brought up another two rocks to me. At least he didn't swallow them. He's finding them down in the dog yard. No matter how many times you pick them up, they just seem to grow right out of the ground. I'm going to put that one there. <laughs> Got static cling. Okay. I have one more. Do I really want to use it? I think I might put that one right there and not pop it up. I'll just put it underneath the first one. You don't want to have a whole puddle of this water glue because it's got the water in it. Um, it's really wet. When you do collage, you don't want to get it too, too wet because you don't want it to buckle. There we go. I really should have collaged. I should have put something on these first. These are magazine pages. I'm going to brush over it just lightly because I want it to still pop up. Although it's going to pop up anyways. If, even if the edges stick down, it'll still be popped up in the center so he'll look like a fat little bird. But this gives it some protection. That magazine page is not going to make it through. Oh, we have a miller flying around. Yeah, we've got to give these a little bit of stability, and this will do that. I should have done it prior to, and they would have been they would have stood up straighter. But that looks good. Sometimes accidents work well. I kind of like how that's um, bending over top of that little pop up, making it look like a fat little bird. Okay, okay. So there we go. Now let's see what's next. I am going to dry the glue on this and then come right back. Okay, so I'm back, and my next step is to add six different shapes. So I have a little heart here, and so I'm going to put this on with my water glue, and it's going to go right there. And I'm just using what's leftover glue on my brush so it's a little dry, not movable. Okay, so there's one shape. And then I am going to <clears throat> add with what color? I think I'm going to do it black. So I'm just going to add a little... Um, Oh, what would you call it, like a wind chime here underneath the branch. So we're going to come down and we're going to put a diamond. So that gives me two. Come down a little further and put a square. That gives me three. Then a circle, which gives me four. And I'm going to have to put you on hold. that okay so we had the heart the diamond the square the circle that's four and then I'm going to put another one next to this and I'm going to do a rectangle which gives me five and then I'm going to come over on this side and do an oval which gives me six okay so there we go with our six shapes one two three four five six yep already so six shapes and then the next is going to be add doodles and so I am going to doodle around these shapes or in these shapes put some lines in my rectangle 
and straight across in my oval. There we go. I'm going to color in the three together. Make those solid. Okay, and I'm going to doodle some more around the page, but I'm going to do that off camera. So my next step is to add your quote or words. And so I just wrote these words out on a piece of book paper and colored them with the lemon zest. And I'm going to put these on here. And it's going to say C with your heart. Can not decide exactly where I want those before I start gluing them down. And I think I like that like that, so I'm going to get my water glue again. And just put those on there. And then when I'm all done, I usually go back and I cover the whole page with either Mod Podge or just with my, um, just with this glue, just so that the whole thing is all blended and to give it a good um, clear coat to make sure that everything is protected but as I'm working I just do it in the area where I'm working so and so I'm going to get these on here, and then the last thing is to add a border. Oh, hubby just got up, and Pee Wee is so excited to see him. I am going to dry this and do my doodling, and then I'll be back to add my border and show you the finished piece. Okay, I'm back and we're on the final stretch. The last thing that we have to do is put a border. Add a border, it says, and so I'm going to use the Lemon Zest Delusions paint and one of my border stencils. And I'm going to use the circles. And I'm just going to use one strip of them. So I'm going to line that up. Go. Just get some of my paint and tap off here so it's not too thick. I don't want it to bleed under the stencils too bad. And then we're just going to go through and add these dots. And this will be our final step. This is step 10 is add border. Add a border. And I'm only going to add the border just to the one side because I think that that will look good. I'm going to go over the whole thing one more time just to darken it up a bit. And then we'll be all set. There we go. And voila. Border of circles. So there's our border. So step one was add three paints. We used the turquoise green and yellow delusions. Step two was add two mixed media elements. And so I added the butterfly made out of sequins and the flower that was made out of sequins. Step three was book text shapes. And so I cut the two branches out of book text. Four was use a rubber stamp. I used a background stamp, which I actually did out of order. Um, before I did the gluing of the 
branches in the mixed media parts. And that was just a script stamped. Step five was add collage elements. So I added the eye and the feather. And then um, step six was add circles. So step six was the flowers. And then add doodles. And so I have, I doodled around with my shapes and I added another set down here. I did doodle just little swirls, which don't show up well because they are, I did them light. I didn't want them to be real dark. Um, but I just put little swirls on the branches so it wasn't just the stark book text. And then add a quote or words, which is see with your heart. And then I also put the little dots with my doodles around there drew around the branches for doodling and around the eye. I doodled around the edge of all the flowers and then I also did with a white paint pen put little petals on the circles. And the last one was add a border. And there we go. And I think that I will probably go around that border. No, I don't think I'm going to. It blends in quite nicely. I'm going to leave it just like that. I will coat this all with Mod Podge just to seal it or with my water glue and that's what it looks like. So remember, see with your heart, not with your eyes. You never know what other people are, what's going on in their lives. So, you know, always remember that. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Alexis. This was really fun and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.